Journeys, by their very nature, are mysterious because a real journey is going to take you where you've never been before. It's not a process of confirming your beliefs, your ideas, or even your understanding, but to take you into different realms, into a higher state, in this case, where you'll see more of the landscape of your life and the world and begin to regain the eyes to see and the ears to hear, which have been given you as part of your heritage. But a journey is a confusing thing because it's going to take you into a new world. It's going to take you where you haven't taken yourself before and where you could not take yourself before. So our rendezvous together isn't just something that we decided to have happen or was just a happenstance in our life or something that we stumbled upon one day. It is part of a greater movement. It's happening behind the scenes of our life. A great coordination. coordination. Something far beyond our capability to understand. Even the great coordination that's occurring in this one city that we're in right now would be beyond our comprehension. But we do have the intelligence to recognize it and bear witness to it. And to not confuse it with things of little value or own notions or hopes or wishes. For we have been called for greater things. Not merely just the pursuit of happiness and security and love and affection, though those things are still valuable to us, but we're called to a greater service, you see. And a greater service means that <clears throat> You're called to give something, not necessarily what you want to give, but what the situation calls for from you. In other words, service is not a process of self-validation. It is giving something called out of you by a world in need. For the world is calling you too.